Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about this one. So this is Catch Me If You Candy by Ellie Alexander, Double Double Toil and Truffle. So this is part of a bake shop mystery series. From what I can find, this is book 17. <laughs> yes. Did I start at the end? Yep. So I found this author on Instagram. She posts so many fun videos and like little photos and different things and like it, she's really good at marketing her books. That's why I bought it, because of her pictures on Instagram. Her books look fun, the titles are fun, like the way she stages her photos and videos is just like so good. Like her marketing is on point. <laughs> so I saw this one and I was like, ooh, spooky Halloween time. Cause like the cover is Halloween. It's like, it's so cute. So I decided to give it a try. Now this is a new release. My library actually has the new sticker. For whatever reason, they also put romance. I wouldn't say this is a romance book, but like murder mystery, you know? And also like, if you've ever read Nancy Drew, kind of the same vibes. I don't know that Nancy Drew ever goes into murder. That's one of the book series I do plan to get through next year. But like this, <laughs> it just, it's not a romance. So anyways, this book I I wanted to read through. She's got a bunch and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like these or not. And like from what I could read, it didn't seem like you needed to read them in order. Like it wasn't that kind of a series. And like going through this, I think there's like call outs to previous books. I don't know. I do plan to read them because through a different kind of search because that's how the library works, I was able to find that they do have all of these. And I think they will be getting the next one too. I saw a listing for it, but it's not available because it's not out yet. <laughs> but that one is The Smoking Bun. It's got the intro at the end of this book. And uh, yeah, I do plan to buy these. This one in particular was so good. So this is a, as I've mentioned, it's a murder mystery and it's a cozy murder mystery book. <laughs> I know it feels weird to say that murder and cozy in the same sentence, I get it but like it is cozy. Reading through this book and like reflecting on this book after finishing it, this is cozy. Like I just want to sit and read this again. This like the feeling of this book is just like casually sitting there on like a rainy afternoon with a cup of like hot chocolate and you're just sitting in a cozy chair and you're just reading through this book. Like it's not really intense, I know, despite it being a murder mystery. It just flows super chill. You're just kind of meandering through the storyline and I loved it. The characters are so fun. The background of this story is that she runs a bakery and like she includes the recipes. I don't know if it's every single recipe, but like this made my life. I just happened to flip to the end and saw that and it was like, what? So yeah, there's recipes. Pumpkin cupcakes with cinnamon cream cheese frosting. Hell yeah, I need to try that. Like that sounds phenomenal because she's going through at the beginning of the book describing how she's making all this stuff and you're like, I want to cook it, what's the recipe? And then you get to the end and you're like, oh my God, you included it. It was like such a fun Easter egg. I don't know if she does that for all of her books. Again, my first one from her, but it, that, it was so good. Because then you've got like other things like chicken and star soup. You got Devil's Food Cupcakes, Halloween Cookie Bars, Carlo's Humble Omelet, Andy's Trick or Tort Latte. Like there are just, there's not, a, I think there's actually only one more. I guess I could have said the last one because it's just various stuff. There's like buttercream, caramel sauce, apple filling, <laughs> but it's apple decadence cake. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free. I love that these recipes are included at the end and you get to read about them and then like they exist. It is so great. So the summary of this book is basically our main character, Jules, Juliet Capshaw. She runs a bakery called Lay Tort, I think it was. <laughs> and uh, I should probably know that. I'm like 99% confident that's what it's called. Yes, Tort. And she is in Ashland, Oregon. And I actually, like I found on her on Instagram talking about that town and I'm like, wait, it's for real? <laughs> like I could have Googled it, but like, Apparently it's actually a real place, which is fun. Cause then it kind of makes you want to go there and be like, how much of the book is real? <laughs> like obviously the storyline is not, but like the places you're like curious. So anyways, so, or maybe it's not, I don't know. I didn't really look that hard, but she was like here in Ashland, Oregon. And I'm like, wait, it's real. Is it real? Is it real? <laughs> what? Anyways, cause I have family who lives in Oregon. So it's like, if I go out there, 
do I want to go to this town? It's because you've talked about this town, maybe. Jules, she is the owner, runner of the bakery thing called Tort. Now, it's one of those bakeries that also includes a lot of food items plus like baked goods. So like it's got the dessert stuff, but then they also have like foods and like a little bit of a cafe thing going on with like different coffees. It's just a fun little place to work apparently. And there is a like parade thing that's coming through for Halloween and it's like a big to do like the town does a huge celebration for Halloween. And in the midst of that, they find a dead guy in front of their like shop. And it's like, what? <laughs> and thus, the murder mystery begins. And we don't really know who it's gonna be. There's all these different leads, and you've got like theater drama, and like pet ownership drama, and like thrift store drama. Except it's not really a thrift store, it's like an antique store-ish drama. I did have to look it up. Apparently this is a thing. There are hospice stores, which was like throwing me for a loop, but apparently it is a store that takes the proceeds of the sales to go to hospice care to make it accessible for people, which is awesome. But yeah, this was such a fun book. It's so chill and casual and cozy and like I constantly was just like, it's not that it's like a quick page turner, but at the same time you just, you want to keep going. You're like, Ah, just one more chapter. Just one more. And like, it's just so much fun. It's a great book to read leading up to the Halloween season, even though it's like post Halloween for like half the book. It still has a Halloween vibe. And like, it's just, it's a cozy book. I really liked it. And like, it does make me curious if I'm going to like more of the cozy like genre and like the official like cozy, because cozy typically is referring to the cozy murder mysteries. <laughs> and like, I'm curious if I'm gonna like these more because I really didn't think I would and like I actually really really enjoyed this so like I have a few others that I've got listed and like I put a few holds in the library for them because I'm very curious and also I do plan to read the entire series all soon to be 18 books and I think she has a few others that are outside the series too so like I think she has like 25-ish books published which is quite a bit but at the same time it's awesome if you love the author and like especially this late in the game if it's such a good book, you're like, I think, I think I could go back and buy all of them. Because like my husband has not had luck with that, his books, he gets like, the first book is really good, second book's like eh, third gets worse, fourth gets bad, and he's just like, oh my god. And meanwhile I'm like, well I picked up book 17 and it's good, so I think I can go back to book one and have a good time. So anyways, there's really not like a whole lot of spoilers. I didn't see the ending coming for this, like, at all. And all of the, like, where I thought it was going to go, it didn't. And I was like, damn. <laughs> like, every time, it's like, who? It felt like playing Clue, but, like, reading it in a book. Where you're like, but who could it be? And, like, some of it is really, really cheesy. But, like, I loved it. Like, <laughs> like there was a couple lines that I was like, no. Like, the... Obviously, it's a, it's a book. So, like, some of the stuff, it's like, that's not going to happen. Like, the the people in like the police department telling her stuff like I don't think you're gonna know that stuff but um they had t she was like I don't know what he could have died from and they're like well you know we know like later on they're like well we confirmed that uh he did not die of natural causes and you're like bro was stabbed you mean that wasn't natural really who would have thought like stupid stuff like that where you're just like come on now who would who would have thought that who would have thought you just don't spontaneously get like six stab wounds and die from it just naturally really you mean it's murder <laughs> and it's not natural just random little lines like that where you're just like oh my god <laughs> but other than that like and even then it just made me laugh so Overall, I highly recommend this book. It was so much fun to read through. It's a great cozy little book to read for the Halloween season. I think it's just fun to read whenever, but it does have a Halloween backdrop, so keep that in mind. Like, it did definitely give off, like, late October, early November spooky vibes. Because, like, Halloween this year, I think, is on, like, a Tuesday. <laughs> so, like, it's perfect to read that week where you're like, oh, Halloween. Oh, Halloween's over. This is that exact week ish timeline. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I plan to read all of her other books and uh, I don't know how frequently I'm gonna read them but I do also plan to buy these as well because it was so good. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Did you love it? Did you not? Do you love this genre? 
What are your favorite books in this kind of genre? I would love to know. If you would like to buy my books, I always have them linked down below. I have my trilogy, I have my nonfiction, and then I have a new one coming out hopefully next month. I'm working on some edits and stuff. I'm slowing down a little bit on the writing just because I'm trying to find more balance. So like trying to publish every month was a little bit extreme. <laughs> so instead I am posting when I can <laughs> for that. Um, but probably early October, definitely. Like my, and of course your proof copies take forever to come. So like this copy won't come till the end of September, which is like, damn. <laughs> Cause it takes like a week or more to ship it. So that kind of, it's a bummer. But Witch's Night, which is my fifth book will be coming out sometime in October. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, my other ones are available. Always linked in my blog down below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon.